As a player and coach from Fiji, William O'Connell has his hands full during the 2022 Pacific Mini Games here in the Marianas. They say I was born with a racket in my hand just because my dad's work was in tennis. He um, oversaw the development of tennis in the Pacific for about 20 years. O'Connell is living fully in the present, working as a coach now in Raleigh, North Carolina, but an incident from five years ago is part of his past, and while he says he feels the story has been, in a sense, beaten to death, he graciously recounts those events. I was, uh, I was out celebrating the end of, end of semester and um, went to bed at about 3 a.m. Uh, in my friend's living residence and um, woke up around 5.45 to a lot of heat. Um, the f there was a fire in the room with me and um, and I woke up maybe five to eight minutes into the fire alarm um, after the fact they said I should have died because of smoke inhalation being in the room with it in a closed room with the fire um, but managed to to roll out a bed bang on a window I tried to break the window and jump out but didn't have the strength to do it um, and so I, uh, I crawled towards where I thought the door was, um, taking in a lot of smoke. And I got to about a, maybe a meter and a half away from the door and thought, um, this is the end. But um, luckily, my, my noise alerted the people that, are already, that were already downstairs. And, um, and uh, one of my buddies, um, that I was going to school with in the UK, he um, he ran up and three times tried to get in. Each the first two times, there was too much smoke, and so he had to run back out. And on the third time, he um, he got pretty close, and he had um, I think um, a makeshift fan, and was able to kind of get into the room that I was in and kind of fan the the smoke away a little bit enough to see my hand and. Uh, I remember his name was Jacob. He, um, I remember him calling my name, and uh, I reached out to him, and he uh, he grabbed me, pulled me out, and then two other guys uh, carried me down the stairs, and I waited for a, what felt like an eternity for the um, for the uh, for the fire department to arrive or the ambulance to arrive. A week later, he woke up with his mom and dad by his side. Nearly 40% of his body burned, a large percentage of which were third-degree burns. Expected to be hospitalized for two to three months, O'Connell was out in two and a half weeks, determined to see his friend play in a tennis tournament. All along this recovery process, tennis, were, tennis was my motivation to to take the next step forward in my recovery. Um, whether it was getting out so I could watch my buddy Sam Groth play in the Nottingham uh, professional event. Yeah. Um, uh, and then also uh, seven months later, I mean, I was, I was in the Pacific in Vanuatu playing, playing the mini games uh, in December. And uh, tennis again was, was the fuel. Uh, for that and so I I believe that tennis has the ability to teach life values and I believe that I wouldn't have um, have come through um, my my circumstances without tennis there is not a whiff of victimhood when you speak to O'Connell he presents a grounded energy focused on the matches ahead for him and his team Life is going to smack everybody, yeah. And so for me, it's, um, it's uh, in my situation, it was it was either do uh, be a victim and and maybe cry and uh, and say woe is me and life sucks and and stuff, or uh, you climb out of it and you uh, you try to be better because of it or in spite of it. Sitting from his vantage point this week during the games, he says he feels happy for Pacific Tennis. The, these games do a wonderful job of, of uh, 
just bringing the tennis community together and um, these relations. It's, it's, it's a reunion as much as it is a tennis tournament. O'Connell is taking the good and the bad from the past and imparting his knowledge both on and off the courts to the future players here in the Pacific and beyond. It's, uh, it's always been a part of my life and so now uh, uh, I coach tennis and um, I want to share, I want to share the, uh, the character development stuff that I think tennis can, that tennis can help instill. The tennis teaches you to deal with adversity, um, it builds confidence, um, it teaches you respect, um, it teaches you to deal with people um, from different countries, different parts of the world.